do you do if you're faced with motherhood, but you're only 15 years old? Uh, many people are finding, not even just the teenagers, but many mothers in this nation are finding that, that kids are just too much for them. Before we meet Rouhani, who is 15 years old and about to become a mom herself, I want to finish with you, Alice. Alice, we've been talking to, who is, who is going through a tough time right now. She has three children, beautiful children, but they just seem to be too much to her. She's going, going through an awful lot of depression. She's thinking about leaving her children behind, leaving home. She says the children are unruly. When people have problems understanding that, how a mother could even consider up leaving her house, a mother could even consider, I might hurt my kids. What do you say to people like that who, who wonder about you as a person? They hadn't seen my life. They didn't know what I've been through. You know? Mm -hmm. What have you been through? That might help us I've understand. Been through -L. What made you decide to have kids, Alice? First, the first one was an, sort of an accident, but I chose to keep it, keep my daughter, you know, mm -hmm. try to love him and thought I could be a good mother. Mm -hmm. you know, Did you start having like, doubts about whether you could be a good mom no, at that first? when you're young, you don't think of nothing. You just think, oh, you're going to have a baby, you're going to take care of it, you know, you're going to be a mother. So then you had the second child, and did things start getting tough then? No. It was when the third child came along and it was just too much to handle? Is yeah. that what happened? Okay, what do you say? Um, well, when I had my first child, um, I had that child because I had nobody there. My mom's had just passed, and I used that child for that security to know that something's going to always love me back. But that mistake I made was how was I going to provide for that child? I had to learn to love myself and get myself together in order to take care of that child. And I made that mistake. <laughs> You know, and I'm trying to correct it now. So what you need to do, what you really seriously need to do, is to find time for yourself, learn to love yourself, and That's admit right. that you need help in getting parenting skills, and you'll be fine. That's right. Mm -hmm. You think that? How does that sound to you, Alice? That's all fine and dandy, but... When you get depression and stuff, it's hard. And they could say you get parenting skill, get all this stuff. You need to take care of yourself first. Okay. Let's meet Rohani now. She's from Florida. She is four months pregnant with her boyfriend Montrell's baby. She is 15 years old. Montrell's mom, Annette, says it would be nice if Rohani and Montrell would marry. But Rohani's mom, Essie, says her daughter needs to l live her life before she even gets married. Rohani? Hello. Hello. How did we end up in this situation? How did we get here? Montreal, I'm talking to you, too. Well, it wasn't like we planned it, but it was an accident. But since, oh, since, accident. since <laughs> it happened, <laughs> since it happened, we're going to take on the responsibility to be a father and a mother and see how things work out. I got a job, and I'm trying to get another job, and I'm going to do the best I can to support the child. <laughs> It was an accident, but and I won't say it was a mistake, but I'm not going to be walking around with my head down because I know I done made a mistake, and I know I am smart enough to take care of my child when it get here, and I'll you know, be like her and turn my back on my child. I don't care what, I, what nobody say. Essie, mm -hmm. what are you thinking right now? Because I don't think that was necessary what she just said to the other young lady. Um, Rohani, is, pregnancy is not a mistake. I have another 16-year-old daughter at home, not at home, okay, I have another 16-year-old child's grand, I mean, child at home, you understand what I'm saying? I'm a grandmother already, uh, this child is 17 months old, well, honey's just been pregnant four months, so she knew, you know, she knew offhand what it was like to take care of a baby, you know what I mean, because the baby was there with me and her, but, uh, my oldest daughter lives somewhere else, I have her baby. And we talked about all of this his stuff. It was like, no more babies are coming into my house. If uh, you get pregnant, you had to go. The first time I heard she was pregnant, I was like, pack up, get out right now. You got to go, you know. And then I'm sitting there thinking, well, if I put my daughter out, she's still going to be pregnant. You know what I mean? It's like, w what am I doing? What is they going to change? You know, go out there and then somebody find her somewhere with a head cut off somewhere because she out there calling herself trying to survive, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so I have to do what I have to do for my child. Right. You understand? She's still my child. You know. When we come back, we are going to meet 
another mother. She's single. She is a teenager, and she has a three-month-old baby, and she doesn't know if she's going to be able to cope with being a mom.